What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to take a look at the Sable Arcade's replacement marquee for Arcade 1-Up's Terminator 2 cabinet. So I wanted to start by checking out that marquee, which looks washed out with the lights on. And with the lights off, well, the situation does not improve, but I think we can do a little bit better. Unfortunately, changing out the marquee is not as simple and straightforward as it has been in the past with other cabinets. So we're going to start the disassembly process by removing both guns. And if you're curious on how you can clean up the look of your Terminator 2 cabinet, check out the modification video I did on my channel where I actually show you how I hid those wires. With the cabinet on its side, go ahead and remove one of the side panels as well as the rear access panel, the front kick plate, and all screws that secure the monitor to the side panel you just removed, basically you're going to have a bucket of screws when you're all done. And we are finally at the point where we can simply remove the old marquee and insert the new, but before we do that I thought we'd do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Here you have the Sabo Arcade marquee up top and the stock marquee from Arcade 1UP on the bottom. Now when I inserted the new marquee, it was a little loose, but I thought that maybe that was just because the two panels had separated, and surely this problem would go away once I installed the side panel. But as you can clearly see, Houston, we have a problem. All right, so I finally get the entire cabinet back together, and guess what? That marquee is just a little too short. No matter how good this new print looks on the marquee, it's not going to be acceptable with that light bleed on top. But don't worry, there's no need to disassemble the cabinet again. All you need is a little patience and three toothpicks. All right, so the way that I'm going to fix this is not with glue or tape or anything that could damage the cabinet. We're going to take three toothpicks and place them in the routed groove on the bottom of the marquee. This is going to space the marquee up just enough to eliminate that light bleed up top, but not take it out of the bottom groove. So it's gonna stay in place and look great. So there you have it, the Sable Arcade's replacement marquee is gorgeous. I think it's definitely a buy, even though it's cut a little bit short. Thanks so much for checking out the view. Y'all have a blessed day, and I will see you next time.